Top of the morning, everybody. It's Mike with Everything and More Store Show. Um, now, today, what I wanted to do was go ahead and talk about uh, something that nobody really talks about too much. Um, it's something that's often overlooked when people are reselling, thrifting, stuff like that. They always talk about, oh, they bought this item and they're going to make quadruple, five times, ten times, whatever. But at the end of the day, nobody really talks about the cost of this, right? It's shipping supplies. So, uh, you know, of course, shipping is like when you print your label, you, you do it off of eBay. You, you put the speculations. You can choose FedEx, UPS, or USPS. Usually, USPS is good for the priority in the first class. Anything more than that, it, it kind of like a, it's a slow and expensive, uh, you know, trip. Then, on the other hand, you can go FedEx, uh, FedEx home delivery, stuff like that. Usually, you can get a pair of shoes out for about 10 something bucks, and then you have UPS, which is big for like the big boxes. Now, we're all, we get that. We understand that. But, overlook, once again, is the shipping supply. So, I just wanted to talk about a couple, you know, uh, needed shipping supplies so first and foremost if you're only and this is uh, like almost no one is doing this but if you're only using flat rate boxes then okay you don't don't worry about this except for maybe like a bubble wrap but most people don't right let's just be honest like most people are using you know if you if you sell this right here the air freshener you're not going to ship this out it it, it weighs only 12 ounces, so you're not going to ship it out in the priority because it's less than 16 ounces. It's first class. So you just put a your little bubble wrap and label it. So the most necessary shipping supplies for me is three main things, right? Okay. Right here, you got your roll of paper. Get this from 99 cents, bro. It's cheap. I go get 15, 10 at a time, whatever. Now, uh, some of them, they still have the older one, the 3M uh model this is the cheap one bro you don't get as much uh you don't get as much uh paper and it's like less quality but it's just the, you know the day and age that we live in you know things are getting more expensive and the quality is going down so this uh is good for when you're doing like any type of uh let's say for example you you cut up a priority box they're not going to want you to send it out cut up like that right for a pair of shoes or something so you got to cover it up bam wrap it up or if you're sending out let's just say a t-shirt you know it's not going to break you don't need a bubble wrap whatever sending out a maybe like a pair of um a women's skirt or something less than 16 ounces you can just wrap it up you get what i'm saying tape it up you you want to of course put tape around it it's going to rip it's not going to you know so anyway the bubble wrap uh excuse me the the paper next one bubble wrap right you get this at walmart for 20 bucks okay it's huge and this is like half gone too these things are huge you get a lot of bubble wrap for 20 dollars. now someone was just telling me about a site i haven't bought off it myself but just you might want to check it out it's called americanbubbleboy.com they have like a bunch of shipping shipping supplies and it's supposed to be way cheaper than walmart so you can get like a six foot roll of bubble wrap I don't know if I'm really at that point yet. Like I knew all that, but you get if I get one of these right here, the 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 big bubble wrap. This is the biggest one they have, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's twenty bucks. It lasts me at least probably two three weeks, and I ship a lot of like cosmetics, body sprays, perfume, this type of stuff. So anyway, that's one of the most important things. Obviously, you want your package to arrive in good condition, safe and sound, in one piece, all that. Okay. Um, Last but not least, these, mind you, these are pretty much the only three that I actually buy, with the exception of like an occasional, um, uh, like a hat box. I usually don't buy those. I usually just make those, to be honest with you. Okay, so bam, right here. Okay. The tape. Power Plus packing tape, right? This stuff. Now, it's not huge, but it's better than the one at Dollar Store. Dollar Tree, excuse me. This is 99 cents. You get this at 99 cents. It's not 99 cents. It's like $1.29, but you get it at the 99 cent store. Get like 15, 20 of these, last me a long time. You know what I'm saying? Last me probably like a couple weeks. Maybe maybe 20 of them will last me probably a couple weeks, right? So anyway, so you get a whole bunch of these. You need, to, you need these, right? So unless you're only exclusively doing flat rate boxes and envelopes, you're gonna even if you're doing flat rate boxes, you're still going to need tape because the medium flat rate box doesn't have an adhesive sticky... Uh, a sticky little seal on it so you're gonna need tape 
Um, and then let's just say, for example, right, if you're going to go ahead and like, let's say I want to send a pair of shoes out, but I don't need, and it's going to California. I'm in California. Let's say it's going to California. I don't want to send, spend uh, $14, to, which is the medium flat rate box if you print your label. I don't want to spend 14 bucks, right? So let's just say, I, I'm like, well, I only need this much space in the box. This is the flat rate box. You just cut him down, right? Put your shoes in. Bam. You get what I'm saying? Put a little thing over it. Tape it. Take your brown paper. Put the brown paper over it. Tape it off because they're not going to want you to send priority in the box that's not priority box. You get what I'm saying? If, if you're not... It's not like you get any type of issue for it, but they don't want that. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, so you got to cover it up. Also, let's just say, for example, if you were going to send this out FedEx, you're you're not gonna um, you're not gonna uh, have a priority label. They won't let you do it. They'll be like, no, you got to cover that up because of the you know confusion and stuff like that. So uh, shipping supplies are necessary. You know. Uh, at minimum, if you have a store that has like cosmetics, clothes, all that type of stuff, these and then the bubble wrap. You get what I'm saying? So nobody talks about it. And everybody, oh, so much profit. Okay, bro, let's talk about what's realistic. You know what I'm saying? So me, save all the money that you can save. 99 cent store, Walmart, 99 cent store. You know what I mean? So you got to think. Let's just, on average, right? If I'm getting like 15 of these, that's probably about $20 every, let's just say, two, three weeks, right? Then, say I probably get about 15 of these a month, right? So that's about, what, another like 20 bucks a month, right? So that's 60 bucks a month, right? One of these every, so it's probably 120 a month you'll spend on shipping supplies, you know? And if you, if you have a good, you know, influx and outflux of, inventory then it shouldn't be a problem man anyway i just wanted to drop that little quick little common sense jewel on everybody real quick i hope it's beneficial to you if it is please comment like and subscribe thank you all have a good day and a happy new year i'm out